do not accept anything less than your standard. I think it's very, very important. In my other video, I said that I was feeling lonely and sad and desolate despite being around my game of friends. Well, they were playing the game and I was just sitting there like a dickhead. They're trying to be productive. Like, well, what the fuck was I thinking? I'm not going to be productive with these dickheads around me. It's unproductive dickheads around me. I'm going to be productive with unproductive people. It's impossible. It's improbable. No, it's possible, but it's highly improbable. And so improbable to the point where I literally got no work done. Anyways, you don't accept anything less than your standard. Right? It's kind of stupid to say this. Of course I won't accept anything less than my standard. But you'd be surprised at the amount of people that think they don't accept under, under their standard. However, they do accept under their standard. Or their standard is quite low. And abysmally low. at the point To the point where it's often questionable to see where their standards are in the first place or if they had any in the first place a lot of people will accept druggies drunks alcoholics people with bad habits people that go you want to watch the footy tonight lads you watch the tonight, lads and that's not an insult to football to football fans it's insults to those that are lazy and fat and sad like literally i saw this message before of um a guy who was vietnamese shout out and he was in the comment section of um, a guy who, in, a guy, a very famous sufferer, you should show he's on like 150,000 subs at the moment. I think he deserves a million. His name is First Man. He fucking deserves that shit. He's a, he's a, he's a man. He's, he's, that, he's, a, he's the man. All right, he's a G. But what I wanted to say was, in the, in the comment section below, he said football was, a, uh, in the video, it was like football was a scam. In the comment section below, he said, uh, one of the comments, uh, the Vietnamese guy said, um, I completely agree with football being a scam. I used to be so indoctrinated within this lifestyle. I used to be so absorbed and consumed with this lifestyle or this life. When my team would win, I would be happy. When my team would lose, I would be sad. And at some point, all you're doing is just watching fit young men go home and sleep with their fit young underwear models in their massive, beautiful, multi-million dollar mansions. While you're surrounded, you're, you yourself are surrounded with fat, old, ugly sad depressed men who are happy about men playing with balls with their sad ugly depressed wife with their sad ugly depressed kids and that's quite morbid it's quite it's quite morbid <laughs> it's just, just, just quite just 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 a little bit but this highlighted a very important truth that even i resonated with even with sports like I don't really watch sports as much as I used to before with boxing and everything. I don't watch it as much as I used to. I don't consume it on the same level I, that I used to because it's all for Ghazi. I do watch boxing because that, but because that's mostly it could be a cop. Honestly, it could be a cop. Genuinely, dead honest. But I, I box, so I, I steal techniques. I am the gypsy. No, gypsy. I was gonna say gypsy king, but that's Tyson Fury. I'm the, you're not you are you but he is him <laughs> I am not him and a lot of people accept accept back harking back to my original point a lot of people accept under their standard and surround themselves with low quality people especially me like I surround myself with low quality people for a lot of my life especially in college as well college I surround myself with low quality people a lot of people mock me for it and I, I recently showed myself a video on just mocking me because oh because I didn't have that much money like I, I'm not gonna say numbers, all right, guys. You guys are gonna laugh. You guys are gonna be like, either that's absurd, or that's, uh, or that's, uh, yeah, not a lot of money. Three thousand in the bank accounts and in cash and in hand, and you're like, yeah, that's not a lot of money, which it isn't. What was that? A what, right? <laughs> Fuck, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Man. And she was like, damn, you're broke. And she was like, oh, you, you said you're going to be rich in a year. And a lot can change in a year, which I said, which was true. And a lot can change in a year. But I want you to see this, which is exactly why I showed her. You shut her up. And I don't like recommend you shut that female. For an ego win over your own mother. But I want you to show her the truth. And I think the truth is very, very important. In a fam familial, familial relationship. My friend called me an insult. We 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 saw this video. <laughs> Just for sake, man. I don't disagree. Na, 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 na. Hello, guys. I got go. I'm on it. I'm in the. 
<laughs> what would you say? It's just a different hairstyle, but like it's not the same. I had no muscle back then. Look at me. <laughs> Stupid video, but that's what I was doing a year ago. <laughs> no muscle, just a fat fuck. <laughs> anyway, it's getting much clearer now, obviously. Obviously, this camera quality, like, you see, the, you can literally count the pixels, but... <laughs> but... It's because it's dark, it's bad. Maybe, maybe if I put this... Nah, you can still count the pixels. Trash. Trash, trash hole. But that's what I was doing a year ago, and I saw my, my mom that video, and she just shut the fuck up. <laughs> she shut the hell up. I don't want to say that to my, about my mom. It's bad. And she just, she just became incredibly quiet because that it, it's barely the same person. Obviously, I am the same person. You can see the same person, but it's barely the same person. That's low. That's genuinely low. I'm spotty. I got long hair. Got a fat face, weird head shape, ugly, no muscle, fat, just fat, broke, ultra broke. Still going to college at the time, super unhappy with my life. I can't, I can't describe to you how unhappy I was with my life. I was genuinely, every day I'd go to school, I'm anxious. When I see night, I wasn't anxious, but, um... In Haringey, I was anxious in my second college. So my first college, I wasn't ha anxious. Oh shit, my PC. My, in my first college, I wasn't anxious. However, in my second college, I was immediate. I was insanely anxious. I was just nervous, just edgy on edge. I didn't like it. I didn't like this area. I didn't like. I didn't like anything about the school. I hated it. And uh, I'm, I'm glad it's over. And I'm glad I just left. I'm genuinely glad I left. It's just weird. And I feel so much more free now. Like I get to make my own decisions. I get to think and feel and do and work. You know, uh, I think that feeling of freedom and independence is so incredibly important, especially to a person like me who just felt caged. Like the, the windows had bars on them to prevent students from jumping out because mental health used to be so bad about students. It used to be absolutely horrible. You know, and I just felt trapped, just weak, just gone. I'm so glad it's over. I'm so glad. But, um, harking back to my original point, it, a year ago, I was a completely different person. Completely different. I had no self improvement habits. I had nothing. I had nothing going for me. I think the introduction of Andrew Tate and... First Man, Hamza, Books as well, Millionaire Fast Lane, MJ by MJ DeMarco, Atomic Habits, Unsplit by MJ DeMarco, Clear Ass Escape, MJ DeMarco, Psychology of Sales, Brian Tracy. You can find those books yourself. These books just completely changed the trajectory of my life. And when I'm balling, when I'm fucking rich as fuck, within the next five years, watch me. And do not accept below your standards. Bye-bye.